Hi, it's Steffi from Steffi's Beads and Baubles, and I've got a really great estate sale. I hate using the word haul, but that's what it is. I, my husband and I went, we waited till Saturday. We got there at 11, 15, 11, 30, because at noon everything goes 75% off. And we waited because why pay more? If, it's, if I can't get it for 75% off, I don't want it. So this is what we got. I'm going to start with the jewelry because I know a lot of people that watch my channel prefer to see the jewelry. So I'm going to start with the jewelry, but then I have a lot of other really cool stuff I want to show you. So let's get started, and I'm going to show you everything I got, including some things for myself. But let's get started, and I'm going to show you the jewelry right now. So let me get the camera situated. So... But this is a company in our area that does estate sales, and I'm trying to work out a deal with them to do uh, an interview with them and um, get the. And they seem open to the idea of me coming there to talk to them and maybe see them set up an estate sale. I just got to pin them down because it's not high priority to them. So, anyway, let's start with the jewelry, and I got some pretty neat stuff. Now, everything was 75% off, so this was $5, which means I paid $1.25, and I got all these earrings, these four sets, for $1.25, and I think they're pretty neat. Um, some of them may get lumped together, and some of them may be sold individually, but I think they're pretty cool, and I'm pretty happy with... Uh, there's these little vintage crystal ones, and then these are flowers with rhinestones in the middle. Um, these are just kind of little fun twists. And then these flowers I thought were pretty neat. And none of them are magnetic. We checked them all. Um, and none of these are, these are not worth anything but their value as a piece of jewelry. And this is some more of these fun earrings. And there was just, I, I couldn't turn them down. For $1.25 a bag. And this one had some enamel looking white earrings. And then these fun, these are actually, I want to get, let me get these, show them one at a time. So there's these white ones right here. Now I thought these are fun for autumn, so I'll get these listed up right away. And um, what I'm going to do is record this video and then. Um, get it uploaded and then while I edit it I'll start listing these items. Now I thought these were pretty neat. They're a glass marble set into an interesting setting. It's kind of a filigree and those are glass. Those are neat. They're an actual marble. Almost like a crackle. It's neat. And then this pair is a blue with a metallic rose in the middle. And this is the jewelry that was left that people had not grabbed. So I can only imagine the jewelry they had at full price. But I'm not going to pay their prices because they're too high. Now maybe $5 for all those earrings would have been fair. But now I fell in love with this. And I will list it. I think it's very cool. It's a clay piece. It's got a butterfly and then uh, a couple flowers. And it's got a really neat clasp. And I just love this. Now... You'll be seeing that they're listed. because This was $5 also, so I paid $1.25 for that. Um, the whole point of doing it the way I'm doing it is so that as I list it, I can edit the video and show you what is listed. Now, here's another fun set for Autumn. They're, they would have been fun for Halloween, but even for Autumn, they're orange, and all the rhinestones are there. They're kind of cool. And then here's another set that are fun for... Autumn. I know a lot of people actually like to wear these old vintage earrings or even just collect them and use them for craft projects. So a lot of these will get sold in lots. And these are pearls and these are all in just excellent. Now this one actually has a signature on it and you know what? I forgot to bring my loop out here. Let's see if I can read this. Uh, I know my husband has a loop. Let's see what his loop says. Hold on, let me just turn you off for a minute. I'll be right back. I went and got my loop. I cannot make it out, but I will put it here if we're able to figure it out. But they're in mint condition. So even at $5, that was a good, $4. These were only four for this set. So I paid a dollar for this bag here. And I have a couple more of these nice bags of earrings. I just couldn't turn them down for $1.25. 
because a lot of people like to use these for crafting too. This is a beautiful set. And again, the rhinestones and beads. Let me get it in. Okay, let me turn the camera down a little bit. I want to make sure I have all of this on, on the camera. These are gorgeous. They are rhinestones around the edge. And then those are those beautiful cat eye type beads and pearls. Again, in mint condition. And then these are beautiful. Again, all rhinestones are there. Look at the condition of these. They're absolutely beautiful. These I'll list separately. And the prices, if I have, I mean not prices, but if, I, if they're listed, it'll be up. Then these are like little pieces of shell with tiny little seed beads on top. And that has, it looks like it might have a signature. It says Japan. And I just dropped one of them. So I got these three pairs for $4. And they're just stunning. And nobody wanted them. I mean, and then here's another bag. This has some more pretty ones. Like I said, some people will buy these because they want them for the jewelry. And some people will buy them because they want them for the crafting. Now, this is a pretty pair. Again, all the rhinestones are in absolutely gorgeous condition. I mean, absolutely stunning. This one is a set of pearls with like filigree caps over them. And then here's a simple pair of pearls. And these are all in absolutely stunning brand new uh, condition. These were also $4 for these pairs. Here's another one. I don't have too many more of these. I do have a lot of single jewelry too. Um, these are nothing extraordinary, but they're still kind of cool. And are they signed? No, but they're all like brand new. These are like they got brought home and put in the jewelry box and they stayed in brand new condition. Here's another shell one. Or, no, they're stones and wood, it looks like. Or glass beads and wood. And then this one, these are kind of fun. And no signatures, but look at the condition. They're brand new. They're not brand new, but they're in brand new condition. They're absolutely beautiful. So some of these will be sold individually, and some of them will be sold in lots. But whatever I've done with them, because it will probably take me a few days to do this video and edit as I go. Now this pair of earrings, I paid a dollar for just this pair, but I thought they were pretty neat. They're very heavy weight, and they have this pretty stone in the middle. They are not signed, but again, they're just very nice quality. They're a beautiful uh, style. Even though they're clip-ons, there are a lot of people that like clip-ons. I'll hold one up so you can see that the little fringe, there's a nice little fringe there. And this one has the little fringe. And for a dollar, I couldn't turn those down. I couldn't walk away from those and leave them behind. Let's see, is there any more of those little earring bags? I think that was, oh, one more. And this one's kind of cool, too. All right, this one has a pair that are either bone or ivory. And I have to find out because certain ones you cannot sell. But they're absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see the beauty of these on camera, but they are absolutely beautiful. And i got to find out if they're ivory or bone or just really good quality glass or plastic. But I, I haven't investigated them yet, but they're absolutely stunning. And then these two beautiful pearls with the twist, uh, silver twisted metal around them. Again, these are all like brand new. I have never seen such beautiful, even these rhinestones, the, they're, they're just in pristine condition. Whoever owned these pieces took great care of them because they are all just absolutely beautiful. And this bag was $5, so I paid $1.25 for three pairs of jewelry, or three pairs of earrings. All right, now let's go on. Now this I paid $1.54, but I just couldn't resist. With Christmas coming up, I thought this was a fun one. Oh, the crystal just fell off of it. How funny. Well, David will have to fix that. But anyway, here's a little Christmas watch. And it's genuine leather. It's just a cute piece. And I thought somebody might like that for Christmas. And we'll make sure that crystal's in there properly. If not, it'd make a fun craft project. 
Now this is three little tiny pins. Oh, and I paid a dollar fifty because that watch was six dollars. Now these are three tiny little brooches, and I paid two dollars. I paid fifty cents for all three. Can you believe nobody grabbed those for fifty uh, for even two dollars, let alone fifty cents? And they're just, again, in pristine condition. Uh, whoever owned these items was very proud of them and took very good care of their pieces. Now this I paid 75 cents for and it's been claimed because my husband is so funny. He loves these old rhinestone pieces. He just thinks they're neat. And he just, he just likes to display them in his studio. He does the stained glass. And um, they're not worth anything. Like if I put this online, I'd be lucky to get a couple bucks for it. So I just give them to him because he thinks they're cool. And it's really funny because he's he's not the kind of man you would think would appreciate this type of jewelry. Um, but he does. He really, he gets in there with me and helps me pick out jewelry and he really enjoys it. And this piece, this looks like it has a signature. No, just dirty. Anyway, so he claimed that, but I only paid 75 cents for that. So even if I sold it for five bucks, it would have been worth something. Now this one, I probably overpaid for it. It's a dollar. Um, it's got a black top, and then it's it's very dirty. But I, David pointed out maybe I could wire wrap it or do something fun with it. Um, but I just I don't know. For a dollar, I just couldn't leave it behind. We didn't know if it was silver, but it is it is definitely magnetic, so it's not. We didn't have a magnet with us. We're going to start bringing one, though. Now, this is an interesting piece. It is signed ART Art. Um, in, again, in beautiful condition. Close that pin so I don't get stabbed. But it's just an unusual and really pretty... I mean, not my taste, but I appreciate the beauty in it. It's just a really... I don't know if you can see. It's got like a really interesting texture behind the rose. And this was a dollar. I paid a dollar because it was four dollars. Now this is for me. Anybody that's watched me for a while knows these are one of my favorite beads. These black or jet. I got. I spent. Okay, this one was six, so I spent a dollar fifty, and I got three necklaces. I got this one, which has the bigger beads in it. Okay. I got this one, which has. A lot of the the medium size or kind of smaller but medium size, and then I got this double strand. And of course I'll research them, but unless they're worth quite a bit, these are my favorite beads, and you can't buy these glass beads for a decent price. I mean they're very expensive, so unless this is worth quite a bit, these will probably go in my parts. This one I might sell if it's worth, and you'll know right now because I will tell you if it's for sale. But these two for sure I'm going to keep. This one might get listed. But you'll know right here because I will have put it. But to get all three of these beautiful glass necklaces for $1.50 just blows my mind. Uh, this, uh, I don't know what the, where the, oh, here it is. I paid $4 for this one. It's some coral and glass beads. It might be onyx. I'm not sure, because if these are stone, those might be. And then there's some really oxidized metal beads in between. Now, I don't know if that was intentional. Not not oxidized, maybe, but aged. They might be un intentional, because the rest of it's in mint condition. And the way this woman took care of her items, I highly doubt she would let... Because, I mean, look, at the rest of it's pristine. So I have a feeling that that was intentional. But these are either coral or glass. Beautiful necklace and I paid a dollar for that one and again if any of them are listed it'll be on this video as I talk you'll see it pop up I find that's the best way to do it so that way if somebody's interested in a piece they can just go look for it now this I paid up now this was ten dollars so I paid two dollars and fifty cents but you should feel the weight and the quality these stone beads are exceptional I mean they are absolutely stunning so I will list this if it's if it's worth something. If not, these will go in my my beads. But for two fifty, I could feel the qual. I mean, just touching them, the quality of these beads is amazing. It's just stunning. And again, look at that. This woman took exceptional care of her items. 
it looks brand new. I mean, just amazing care. Um, I have another, here's the other stone necklace that was also, this one was $8, so I paid $2 for this one. But again, the quality, you can feel the smoothness and the, and, um, This one has some colored beads on the bottom. Is it all the way around? Oh, all the way around there's a colored bead in between with these little gold beads and it's just all again exceptional and look at even this is the most worn piece she has and that's still in nice shape and I paid two dollars for that one because again if it's not worth selling those beads are exceptional and I will happily add them to my collection. Now these were uh, 75 cents, but I like the weight of them and I thought they were just very pretty. They did not test, uh, they are magnetic, so they're not anything, I believe they were magnetic. I'm pretty sure they were. But they're very pretty and they're still worth selling. Very nice clip-on earrings and uh, very pretty. And I paid 75 cents for these. These are um, little stick pins, and I paid a dollar because they were four. And I thought they were pretty, and they are magnetic. They are not gold, but you know, you just never know. It's amazing what you can find, but they're really pretty. One's a little seashell, very delicate, and the gold is exquisite. This one is a little heart with a rhinestone, and again, this one's a little bit fancier. Just gorgeous. She took amazing care of her pieces. I, I would love to have seen what else was there before uh, that sold for full price, but I'm just not, I don't want to do that because then I'm heartbroken when they're sold. Now this was $3, so I paid $0.75 cents and, I, and I just thought they were cool. They're a tortoise shell and they're glass. And you got the little one on there. It's a full bead. And then the one hanging and it's a clip-on. And again, in really these are a little more used than some of the others, but still, and that does that have writing on it? Let me look. This says Japan. They're just beautiful. And I paid 75 cents for the pair. And you just can't go wrong with that. You know, you just cannot go wrong. This is a beautiful piece. This was a dollar fifty. Look at that very fancy all the stones are gorgeous all of them are there again in exceptional condition look at the top of that how fancy that is can you see that it's just a, look at the look at the the clasp it's just it's just beautiful it's just a lovely lovely piece i mean exceptional and i paid $1.50 for this one. I think this is the last piece of jewelry, and then we'll move on. Okay, this is a little wreath. And now, I believe this does not have any stones on it. It's just cut to give a little bit of reflection, but it's a nice little wreath. There's no signature, but it's just very simple and pretty. And I paid 75 cents. So you just can't, you can't beat that. Let me get the jewelry off the table so I can show you the rest of the stuff. But I thought I did very well on all the jewelry. And then I loved this vintage box. I thought this was stunning. It's like almost a feather effect. Um, I don't know if you can get the true effect of it on camera or not, but it's, it's beautiful. Um, I don't know if the colors are showing up and I paid a dollar for this, but it's got the sticker on the bottom. It says pink Almost look like papier. I don't know, but there's the label So that'll get listed. I think it's beautiful and then look at this neat old pot holder. It's actually got bric-a-brac. It looks like they had I don't know, like a bow or something up there that might be gone, but people love these vintage pieces. So I might see if this is listable. Like I said, you'll know if it's listed because it'll be up, it'll be on the page. Now this is a very old book, Washington's Farewell Address, Webster's Bunker Hill Orations, and it says it was, it should see it's broken here, but it's dated 1926, so it's almost 100 years old. 
I mean, that's when it was inscribed. I don't know how old the actual book is, if it has the date in it. Some books do, some books don't. 1920, so it is a 100-year-old book. So I think if you're 100 years old, you might be falling apart too. But somebody that knows how to repair it, somebody might want that for a couple bucks. I'll, I'll see if it's worth listing. And then some old kids' books, which I may lot together these two. I'm not sure. Neither one of them is worth a whole lot because of their condition. But somebody might want them for ephemera. This one's worth a couple bucks, but again, it's trashed. So I might, these are, for some reason, the books didn't hold up as well. See how the paper, so these might be more ephemera, and I might sell the three of those together for ephemera. Now these are kind of interesting. This is the Last Supper, it's a fan. I don't know if you can see it with a wooden handle, almost looks like a, a fancy popsicle stick, but bigger. And this says Cleo Tillery. Your friendly grapevine grocer. We appreciate your business, large or small, but we appreciate your friendship most of all. And when I looked him up, I'm going to pull the information I got, or not, if I can't find my phone. Oh my goodness, I just had my phone here so I could tell you guys. Well, anyway, his grocery store operated from like 19, I think 45 to 50, something like this. So this is a very very what 75 year old piece it's got the last supper on it and it says last supper and i got it for uh 75 cents now this is a traditional funeral home paddle and a lot of people like these old fans they collect them and this says floral splendor and it was 50 cents it says red oak funeral home and um i don't know how old this was but um i'll check it out I don't think they give these away anymore, but I'll, I'll check it out. But those will both be sold. Then I thought this was a really fun piece. It's molded glass. I paid a dollar for it. It has down here somewhere a tiny, tiny flea bite underneath. I can't even find it now. I call David my fun sponge because he will find every little tiny, but I want him to. But it's somewhere on the bottom here is a tiny little flea bite. But I thought somebody might really enjoy that piece. It's a little dog. Tooth, it could be a toothpick holder. I think that's about the only thing it could do. But it's so neat and old-fashioned looking, I had to pick it up for a dollar. And then this also was a dollar. I don't know what happened to the price. It was either three or four full price. And um, what does it say on the bottom? It says... Made in Taiwan, Republic of China. But it's a little shell and really cute. So I'll probably list that if it's listable. Now this is beautiful. I paid $1.50. I'm going to do a little cleaning on it because it does have a couple spots. But if I can get it clean, it's a satin box with uh, some tapestry, not tapestry, needlepoint on top. It's quite beautiful. And I'm going to see if I can list that. Anything that's not listed by the time the video comes up, I will still put if it's in the process. Now, this was for me. I We use cloth napkins. We don't use paper. Now, I did buy some paper when there was no toilet paper last year. And I have like 3,000 paper napkins up there because I bought three or, three or four packages. I've given some to my kids. i got at least two packages up there in case of emergency. But we use cloth napkins. So whenever I can get a good deal, and I paid, what did I pay for this one napkin? Uh, was I just ripped it off without looking? I believe it was a dollar. I believe that's what it was. I don't know where the price went. Oh, yeah, it was a dollar, and I got it for a quarter. Okay, now this is really cool. I paid a dollar twenty-five, and, and these do sell for about twelve to fifteen dollars. David's going to tighten up the hinge a little tiny bit, and this has the original label on the bottom. And so this will be listed. It's got a wine bottle and some fruit and probably grape leaves. Very pretty Italian kind of style. And I paid $1.25. This is a neat tin. Uh, there's some projects I want to do with tin. And so I bought this for that project. Um, this is a newer piece. It's shortbread cookies. I don't think that's very old. They had two of them and uh, they were uh, 50 cents. I only got the one. I just thought it was pretty regardless of what. I thought it was a pretty pretty can. 
I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but it's pretty. Even the lid has the decoration on it. Okay. Then these I'm very excited about because you can sell vintage eyeglass cases. Now this one's very tiny, and uh, I don't know what that cardboard is, but really tiny. But look at that. It's like a plastic with kind of wheat and flowers in it. It's so tiny. But people collect these. And then these I fell in love with. These are, <laughs> have a heck of a time getting it open. I've got to push it just, there we go. There's this one. And I got these, I believe they were $3. So I got them for 75 cents each. There was two similar. So I get this one open too. Yeah. This one's actually got 1975 glasses on it. 1975, so I'm going to assume both of them are from about the mid-1970s. And people collect these. Now, I don't know if that'll come off, but somebody might think it's cool. So those three were amazing. Uh, even the girl that checked me out went, oh man, those are neat. So I'm excited about those to put those in my shop. And these are tucked under my camera, so I might as well show them to you. Now, I bought a set of these the other day for my daughter, for our, for our oldest daughter. Her grandmother gave us her rose... Oh, this one's got a big crack in it. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, I guess I can only sell one of the sets. I might sell one separately because sometimes you break one. I didn't know. I might sell it as a set and just let them know one's broken in case they want it. But sell it cheap. Give them this one free with this one. I've done that before. Sell this one and give them this one free. I've done that before. Um, I didn't see it, but I paid, um, I think they were, I think I paid like two, I think they were $10, so I paid two fifty dollars a set, and I've got uh, a set I bought our daughter, because she has her mother, grandmother's full set of, of the Desert Rose, which we inherited, well, she didn't, we didn't inherit it, my mother-in-law gave it to us like 10 years ago, and I just don't have any place to display it. And our daughter does, and she loved it and really wanted it. So we went ahead and let her have it all because her sister didn't want any of it. And so she doesn't have these, though. So I got another set in there that I bought for her the other day at a different sale from the same company. And uh, I think I think it's the one where I showed um, the green bowl that glowed and stuff like that. I just forgot to show the uh, roses. So these, these can probably sell for a few bucks, so... And um, then this is right up my alley. I paid two fifty for it, and it'll sell for about twelve to fifteen bucks, something like that. Um, but it's I've got a bunch of these type of kits that I will be listing. Some of them are older, some of them are newer. Um, pillowcases. I bought this to resell. Um, I'll take the the tape off to show you what it looks like, but I wanted to make sure I left the price on. It was two dollars, so I paid fifty cents for this pillowcase. And people do buy these. And I thought that was so pretty. And, you know, if I get a few bucks for it, they're easy to ship. So that'll be a fun piece to sell. Now, this one excited me because of the colors. This is very autumn-y. So I paid $1.50 for it because it was $6. So let's, let's look at those. And there's two. And they look like they're in beautiful condition. Look at that. And it's got the embroidery or the crocheting on the edge. And it's got a scalloped edge. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But the edges are scalloped. It goes like this. And then it's got that great crochet on the edge. So this set will be sold too. Now whatever I don't get listed before, will be I'll be frantically listing. And, uh, I'm going to try to get most of it up before I post this, but I don't want this video to take me... What? Sorry for that interruption. My camera was making some... Weird flashes. I thought it wasn't recording, but it did. All right, I've got a few other things to show you. Um, this was a, a Revere wear pan, and it's the old copper clad Revere. And it was $12, so I paid $3. And these sell pretty well on eBay. It's a little one. Um, my husband picked this out. David picked this out. He thought somebody might enjoy it for a dollar. People like old cards. Um, they use them for ephemera and all kinds of things. And... These um, are really pretty. Let's see, where's the... Let me see if I can find... There we go. One's got the yellow. 
flower. Like the, the so they both look like the box, obviously. But I still like to double check because you just never know. And then this one is the pink, and they're both opened, and they're both very well used. You can see that they've been used. But people who want ephemera, so I may, I haven't decided, and I may, by the time this comes up, I may still not have decided if I'm going to break these cards up into lots of different cards for, because um, I, I sell some lots of ephemera cards. This, though, is a neat set because you also have the, it's a bridge set. And you also have the book where they kept score, and it actually has some scores in it. You still got most of the book, but you've got, a lot of people enjoy this kind of thing. They like seeing the, the people, the people's scores and writing. And I think it's maybe, what, let's see, half the book? I don't know, let me see, maybe they used the whole book. No, about half. Let's see. Uh, yeah, about half. But see, a lot of people with ephemera, they like to do that. So that's how much was used, and that's how much is blank. And somebody might really enjoy that. So I have to research it and decide. But for a buck, I knew that it was definitely something I could make f some money off of. And I have a couple friends that do ephemera that can help me with this. And, and help me decide the best way. Now this one I paid up on. It's $1.25. I, I was $5. But people love this old advertising. Uh, the old packaging. And um, these are the Christmas hooks. The old Christmas hooks. Really old ones. And the packaging is really cool. So I know I can make a little bit of money on that. And then this is a transistor, a Philco. Probably twelve to fifteen. I paid a dollar fifty for it, and it was worth it to me to save this, because I don't know what's going to happen to the stuff that's left over after this sale. But David checked it out, and the batteries, the battery compartment is fine, and everything's good on it. And it's worth a few bucks. Then this I haven't checked out yet, but for a dollar fifty, this is a beautiful stainless steel piece. On the bottom it says uh, stainless steel. Pearlum, Japan. But what a nice, look how big that is. It's a big bowl. And I paid $1.50 for it. And I thought somebody might love that. And David found these. These are Bakelite. And he paid $3. Well, we paid $3 for them. And he think he found them for like $18 or $19 with the whole box. But we do have the tray. So we'll see. We can definitely make a little money on them. And I bought this for me for my Christmas. And for Hall when Halloween's over today, I'm going to turn around so you see the back of it. But for, for today, I can have the front showing. It was $12, so I paid $3, but this was this is a Hallmark piece, and this is just for me. I always try to add. Now, the rest of these things are some things for me. I love vintage towels, and we have our new bathroom. is in. Uh, I use pink. Pink and gray. David has some beautiful gray towels, and then these I bought these for myself. I got one little hand towel in this pink and white pattern and then I got uh, a few bath towels that are fun this is a small bath towel perfect for hair it's in the same a similar pattern not quite exactly this one kinda has a little bit of a different but this is really pretty and um, this one's more peach I bought that by mistake this will go in my other bathroom but still a beautiful towel and it's in mint condition I'm telling you, the, the woman that owned this house kept her things beautiful. And I did get one of these beautiful, you just don't see towels like this anymore. Look at how gorgeous. And it's like brand new. Just beautiful. Just a gorgeous towel. And I love these old-fashioned towels. And here's another fun one. Another pretty uh, rose-inspired towel. And David doesn't mind a bit. Here's another one of these, and um, this is a different pattern. Let me lay this one out for you. This is kind of a, a deeper, dustier pink, but still I like the texture and the stripes on it. And um, uh, this one's another really pretty, pretty one. Old towels are just so cool. And I knew if I was patient, here's another one of these. I knew if I was patient, I would find some. And this one doesn't really match, but I just thought it was too cool to pass up. I love the squares. I thought it was fun. 
I just, there's something about old towels. And I knew if I was patient, this is a Canon all cotton. But I just thought it was so cool. Still has tons of life left. This is a very lightweight towel. Um, it's kind of washed out on camera, I think. But it's pink and blue and kind of a gold and a light pink and a white and a yellow and a light green. It's just kind of all different fun colors. And so I got those for our bathroom. I thought those would be fun to have. And that's my estate sale haul. I think we did really good. We spent $81. I guess I'll go back on camera for a minute. We spent $81, and I think we did really good. Um, like I said, the towels were, you know, probably a good chunk of that for us, my little, my little Halloween thing. Oh, and we bought one more thing. When we bought these, they had a divided dish, and I think I paid $6, six fifty dollars for it because it was like $24 or $25. But it was, uh, it was probably about, oh, I don't know. I can't show you on camera. It was it wasn't a huge dish, but it was their one of their divided dishes, the the um, Franciscan Ware Desert Rose, and I think our daughter said she already had one. But for six dollars and fifty cents, I just got her another one. And by the way, it's Halloween when I'm recording, so I've got all my Halloween on. Went to Lowe's this morning to look at paint and forgot it was Halloween. Didn't put it on, so I put it on when I got home. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I was really excited with what we got, at, considering we waited. It, the sale was Wednesday night, all day Thursday, all the day Friday, and then we did not go until Saturday morning. We got there about 11.30, and we just said, whatever we get, we get, and oh, I was so mad, though. Big lesson. Don't look over anything. I walked by this little hall closet, kind of glanced, and didn't go in there. And when I was in line, a woman pulled out two gorgeous embroidered tablecloths that she got for like a couple bucks each. I could have cried. I was like, oh, no. And that was because I didn't look. So always look at everything because you just never know. But I think we did really good. I think we can triple or quadruple our money. Um, a lot of this stuff is definitely way worth. I didn't even figure out on the jewelry. But um, as you watch this, you will have seen what's listed. And if it's not listed yet, it's, it's in the process of being listed. It's just easier for me to list for you guys because the shipping's cheaper for you if you buy it. And it's easier for me to ship it because I can print out the shipping label and pack it up at home and not have to take it into the post office, measure it, figure out the shipping and all that. So I prefer to sell them listed, but I will list as much as I can before this video goes up. So what I'm going to do is as I edit it, try to get this stuff up, but it's a lot. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, tw like 20 items plus all the jewelry so like 40 items to list so it might take me a week or two to get this video completely done I'm recording it on Halloween so we'll see what day I get it published I'm hoping I can get it done in a couple days but each listing takes me I have to research it and then I have to take pictures and I have to so it could be up to a half hour per listing so you can see it can take quite a while to list this many items but I don't want to put this up till everything's listed because it's not fair when you really want something and it's not available yet. So that's my new goal is every video try to list as much as I can so that if you're interested and even if you just want to go look at the pictures because you might not want to buy this but you might want to see oh I want to see the pictures of it or something interesting like these you just might want to see the pictures I do that all the time I'll watch somebody on YouTube and I'll go look at the pictures sometimes I'll buy it sometimes I'm just nosy I want to see maybe you're researching something that you want to sell but for whatever reason I like to get them up online for you guys but anyway so that's what we picked up. I'm so excited with everything we got. I could not believe we found so many things the last day. I mean, we get there like 45, half hour to 45 minutes before the 12 o'clock. Now, you have to carry it because I never told you guys this story. I don't think I might have. But we went to the same estate sale and I bought a ton of jewelry. 
and I had set it up on the counter. They have like a place where you can put what you're going to buy. Well, at noon, she started counting it up. I said, what are you doing? I'm not done shopping. Well, whatever's on the table, you get for half price. And I got mad because uh, they didn't have a sign posted that if it's there, you have to pay that price. So the lady in charge came out, and she knows me. I've bought from her for years. And I said, look, you don't have that posted. That's not fair. I've been here for over an hour and a half shopping, and now I can't get my 75% off. And she says, you're right, we should have it posted. We'll give you the 75% off. And I'll be darned, after that, the next sale, they had it posted. If it's on this table, you get the noon price. So I carry a basket. She has. They have the little baskets. David and I had two little baskets heaping over it with those towels and all. I might bring in one of my, um, what are they called? Uh, my mind just went blank. The big blue bags. Oh, who sells those? But I have those big blue bags. I've got one from Commonwealth Picker, and I've got a big bag from Raleigh Roots that I bought. I can bring one of those with me, and they're huge tote bags. So I might start bringing um, one of those in my purse, so if we get a lot of stuff like towels or big things, I have something to carry it around the, the sale in. Because we two baskets, we each had one full, and it was... Uh, David was getting frustrated with me with all the towels. <laughs> but I had to get them. They, I've, I've been watching for a year since we've done our bathroom. And I've gotten one or two little tiny pink towels. This is the first time I, was, I got a ton of towels. So anyway, I hope you're having a good week. And I will be back again soon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your support so much. Bye.